So the Obama administration is fleeing to uh, the Soviet Union. We got uh, Michelle Obama is going to China on vacation. Jake Carney wants to be ambassador to Russia. Um, do you think there's any chance they'll take Barry? You know, the obvious point here is that China wasn't a part of the Soviet yeah, Union. I, 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 they I, were I, actually I, they were actually bitter enemies for, uh, where did you, for yeah, a long time. Was that? Well, they're all red and communist, and Bedford doesn't like them. So Jay Carney going to Moscow. He was Moscow bureau chief, I believe, for Time magazine around well, we the. We don't know if he's going to Moscow. He's all right, maybe. No, he, he says he's not. But you know, the, so there's the story out that he's angling for the job. He was yeah, he Time was magazine for, for, for Time for Time and like time around the breakup. And, so he's super familiar with all the issues and like I don't know. I was listening to Julie. Mason talk about this yesterday. She says that like Carney has never seemed more animated than when he talks about Russia now because so, he knows it so well. Exclusive! Jay Carney speaks communist. <laughs> Excuse me. Jay Carney speaks Soviet Union. He speaks communist. <laughs> Carney, who works for Obama, used to talking to communists. So it's a little bit odd to have a press secretary then go off and get a high-level ambassadorship. Well, but, okay, yeah. so all signs point to he's not doing that. Okay, you but know, we're not gonna fine. Ignore. Taylor. I forgot like, we don't deal in facts. Are you getting kickbacks from Big Buzzkill? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't having someone who's like got an intimate relationship with the president, knows Russian, be like a better choice for ambassador than almost any of the other Democratic Like all of the like ambassadors, the all of the ambassadors who've announced like, yeah, I've never actually been to the yeah, country. Well, <laughs> but recently? I did see the Wikipedia page and it looks great. <laughs> and I skimmed it. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of these ambassadorships are, you know, to some extent, for sale. It's always the big bundlers right. and the big donors. Obama's kind of brought it to the next level. Can I have, Woo. like, Turks and Caicos or something like that? Yeah, yeah sure. When one of us gets elected president Thank in this you. room. And you donate several million dollars. Yeah. Five in. dollars. Five? <laughs> <laughs> How about a lunch? Okay. In the uh, terrifying alternate universe where Chris Bedford one day becomes president. Okay, so also China. China is screwing <laughs> us over. Unbelievable. They're on the side of Russia. And Michelle Obama is planning a nice expensive vacation there. Yeah. She's taking the whole family. Her gra her she's mother's Barack? Her mother's going. No, Barack's getting left behind. Uncle again. Omar? Mother's going. <laughs> Malia. Sasha. They're all heading out. Leaving Uncle Omar behind. She's not gonna give any shout outs to dissidents. She's not gonna lecture them on human rights. She's just kinda gonna go there and hang out with her mom and her kids. And the justifications they're giving, you know, like her chief of staff saying, like, well, as a Chinese American, I think the Chinese are going to be very impressed to see three generations of Americans come to China, which sounds offensive to me. <laughs> she shows up and she starts patronizing the Chinese about how they have to move. Move! Move that rock! <laughs> move that rock! Move that rock! You need to cut back on the bowl of rice a day, okay? <laughs> I mean, really? I do have a piece of advice for Michelle, though, if she goes to China. What? What's that? Don't bring the dogs. Ha 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 ha!